Shoo! Welcome back, folks. To another episode, we got a special video planned today. Spoiler alert, there's baby rabbits on the farm. We'll get to that later. First things first, the veterinarians are here to vaccinate all of these lovely animals. And you might wonder, well, how does one go about vaccinating all these? Uh, you catch them and then you vaccinate them. I would almost said catch, clean, cook, but not today, Steve. It's your, it's your lucky day. So we've got to vaccinate all these guys just with like genetic, genetic, generic stuff to help them not die. And they're, they're pissed. They need some food. So it's going to be interesting. We're starting it off. We're going to be sweaty. It's hot out here. It's... It's gonna be rough. It is gonna be rough. We're gonna have to try it. I, Ralph's never been vaccinated before. I was gonna say most of these other guys have probably, Quattro obviously not. He needs to get sheared soon. But anyways, we're vaccinating him. We're gonna be doing some chores today. We have a couple ideas of some different projects we can do. It's really hot, but it is sunny. It's not raining. It's been raining a lot lately. So we're gonna try to get some animal chores done. But the rabbit that lived in that cage is dead. But it left six babies. And we'll get into that story here in a bit. First things first, let's get to vaccinating. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. Sheesh! He already, he already did Dale too. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. No, you come here. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Oh. He's on right today. Goodness. Perfect. Wow, this is great. Hey, you settle down, buddy. What's your problem? Here, buddy. Yeah, I know you don't like that. Just keep the flies off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's pissed. <laughs> All right, Hamels. Oh, God. This guy's a doozy. <laughs> Yep, there he goes. Okay. All right, pal. All right, Quattro, you're up, pal. We'll get him. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> get this foot oh. out. <laughs> oh, God, he's fast. Oh, he's fast. Oh, that's gonna be a long day. I'm fast as <laughs> Dude, he ain't gonna stop for you, though. He's gonna run your ass right over. I ain't catching his ass. He's too quick. I caught him once before, so I know it's possible. Hey, here's your best shot in this corner. Get him, you get him that way. I don't like Ralph right here. Close in. Close in, close in, close in. Hey. Yeah, we gotta get way closer. Oh God, watch out for buddy. <laughs> Ralph, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. I'm trying to get your friend Quattro here. Cooperate. This sucker's quick. Come to you, come to you. Oh, oh no, <laughs> damn it, dude, he juked my ass. I thought you had him. Oh, I did too. If we can get him up in that corner up there, we'll get Lucy. She'll grab onto his fur and hey, hold on to him. If he goes up there, we'll be all right. No, we're not fighting. All right. Oh, God, there he is in the shoot now. Oh, no. Got him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good? Yep. Get him, son. All right, we got all these guys right here. All right, Carlos, no kicking. You're all right. It's all right. You're okay, Alicia. buddy. Come here. All right, I'm going to Perfect. Good girl. Yeah, all right. What's going on? Easy with that. <laughs> all right, I got her. Okay. Come here, Carlos. No, it's okay. It's okay. Don't kick me down. I'm waiting for that hoof to come back. What's up, big boy? Come here. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm watching. Okay, I got him. Okay. Right. Yeah, get out of here, son. Quadro running at me was a little Dude, scary. Quad you Oh, I had a blowout. He blew the pants out, son. Yeah. Sheesh. Quattro did that one. Yeah. Good night. That was scary. I think Steve's going to be a little ass and Steve might be kind of tough. Come here, Carol. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Okay. That's it. Good girl. Yeah. You, oh, jeez. Don't hit him. So far, not too bad. We haven't got our ass kicked by anybody quite yet. We can grab Steve right here. Get out of here, Alfie. We can just keep to corner and I'm really... Oh, get out of here, buddy. We don't need you in this fight. Watch him. I got blocked by Jerry. I, yeah, if we can get him up in that chute, man, that thing worked pretty good. We'll just try it hurting him up here. Yep, there you go. Get in the chute, Steve. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's about to swear up, son. Don't you do it now. There we go. All right, I got him. All right, get him. Relax, 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 relax. <laughs> he's about to get you. Yeah, out of here, buddy. Rick, you already got your Rick. Hi, bud. I'm trying to grab your baby is all. Okay, relax, 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 relax. Okay, there she goes. Oh, God. <laughs> There's such a little wiener. Hey. <laughs> <Listen, laughs> <wait, wait. laughs> They're the biggest wieners Barely ever. Touch it. You and it just freaks out. You literally could pet that sucker and he'd scream like that. <laughs> To grab He's fast as hell. Come your way. Yep. All right, no way I'm catching that song. I don't know if they come to. We could throw some feet on the ground. It might go to that. Yeah, that or get him in that pen. Yeah, I'll just try to push him in that chute, maybe. 
I missed that. I was walking around. And he ran right into the fence. He ran full speed into the fence. I couldn't grab him. Yeah, we might just throw some feed for him. Pull up right here. I'll go behind her. Push him to you. Okay. She shouldn't run too crazy. Super nice big hunt. Yep. Oh, God. Just keep your front legs away from her. What the hell was that, Rick? Good job. Good? Good job. Woo, all right. She had a little, little force. I run your ass over. Yeah, about did. Why do we have animals? Ralph, you're going up soon, buddy. Don't worry. I'm try throwing some grain for that pig. They're pretty pissed at us, I think. What do you think, Ralph? Gotta get home. Yep. Okay, yeah, that, was, that easy. was easy. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. Let's not hurt him too much. I don't freak out much. These pigs are about you to grain us. Hey, Rick, Rick, Rick. Gotcha. No. There you go. All right, they've been baited. Be a lot easier with a the thermal, huh? Jeez. <laughs> Sorry, little winky. Just coming to check on your water dish. Just so happens to be right where you're at. Oh, oh, you suck. They're so strong. Like physically they're trying so to hold them is really hard. See that one? Woo! Is that it? Sheesh. I'm retiring. That wasn't too bad. That was quicker than I thought. Yeah, it didn't take too long. 18 minutes. What do you think about this? What's that stuff? At the car wash, yeah. It's fly spray. Don't you turn on me now, son. I'm just trying to help. Yeah. Working at the car wash. I wish we could play that song. What you thinking, pal? You're doing pretty good. Yeah, see all them flies right there, buddy? We're getting them figured out, aren't we? We'll get you nice and good. wonder if you take, what if you just like took out the garden hose with on shower mode? Do you think buddy would just love it? He'd probably like it. Give him my camel a bath. You're a fan, aren't you? I can't spray it in your eyes. I see them flies in your eyes. I can't do much. Try spraying a little Hi, bit buddy. right here. Hi, buddy. Oh, we can let them out in the pasture today. Forgot about that. Yeah, we'll let them out in the green pasture, huh, Ralphie? You want some green grass, pal? <laughs> oh, watch that leg, son. About high stick my ass. I don't know why you're... Hello. He likes the goo. You want the mondos? Oh! <laughs> hey, no! Let's throw some mondos on you. What do you think? He needs one, one step for each eye. <laughs> Give me them back, son. Well, he likes the fly spray. That's good to know. We'll keep them flies off. You see these flies right here? Yeah, we'll get them, all right? All done. He, dude, he really likes this. This is pretty impressive. Most animals aren't a fan. He's give me some more. I think we should. I think he thinks it's water and he's like, it's cool. Yeah. We should definitely come out here with the garden hose. And oh, for sure. I can't like, do it now because I just sprayed this so I don't want to wash it off. But maybe on the next like hot day, we'll come out here and see what animals. Like the pigs, they would love it for sure. He'd probably like it. Just up a little animal car wash so they can walk under it and like. Oh, yeah. Dude, we should yeah, definitely build an animal car for sure. wash. If you guys want to see that, you let us know. Here's what we'll do we'll open the pasture and hit them as they walk out. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to give them their vaccine to be allowed in the, uh, in the premises. Oh! <laughs> Joke's on you guys, you're on microchip now. We gotta do that before you let them out on pasture. They're J&Js, right? Cause her, her, there's only one dose. Sure, that's what the cool kids do now. Yeah, they're ready, they know what's up. They're lining up to the gates. Off to the race as we go. Come here, little ass. Get you some frost there. All right, open the gates. There you go, Dale. There you go, Jerry. Go get them, cowboy. Come on, Carol! Come on, Ralphie. You know, that I already got you sprayed. You're good. Come on. Go to the grass, the promised land, buddy. Here, I'll hit you. No, go ahead. He likes to spray too much. No, come on. Go get in the grass. Look at all that green grass, my guy. Go get that grass, Carol. Let me get you some of that squirt squirt. There you go. Come on, Quattro. You want some grass, buddy? Come on, little ass. Come get some of this grass, son. The grass has finally gotten tall enough, and we got them on some bloat minerals. So they shouldn't bloat up. Look at He thinks he's smart. He thinks he's smart. I got him. Come on, come on. Go ahead, go ahead. No, I'll go this way. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, these ones are gonna get no, you. No, Steve, Steve. All right. Oh God, watch out for big, big buddy Ralph. <laughs> Ralphie, go out in the pasture. <laughs> go fight a tree or something. Come on, donkeys. You're all right. I ain't got a vaccine or nothing. I'm gonna give you a little spray. They're scared of me. You guys like your little bath? Look at that little mud bath. Oh, he's about to lay down too. Yeah, I ain't got no, I got, I got the spray. I ain't got a vaccine or nothing. There they go. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'll leave you alone. Look at them all. Sheesh. Unlimited grass for these folks. Finally, several months we fertilize it, we let it grow. I mean, it's like, this is the tallest I've ever seen this grass. It's taller than it was last year when we let them out. Cause it's got like the seed heads on it, which I don't know if that's good or not. It's probably a good thing, but. Tasty. Look at them all out there, dude. Sheesh. They're big chilling. What do you think, Ralph? Steve's laying down. He says, I'm taking a nap right here. There you go, go ahead. Well. 
Animals are up doing animal things. We're gonna leave them, I'll probably do like, I, I've already let them out once just for like a couple hours, just to make sure they wouldn't bloat real bad. They didn't bloat at all. But we'll probably do like, oh yeah, Steve's laying down. Oh, get that itch, Steve. He's just rolling around up there. We'll probably give them like two days. The thing is we have rain. I've heard if they eat wet grass, they have tendency to bloat more. So we'll probably let them out here for a couple days, bring them back down, get them on the hay to like get an easy transition. Plus they won't overeat it. This should last all summer. It's really, really long. We do have a lot of animals and they're, I mean, He's getting after it. But anyways, you want to build a patio? Sound like fun? Yeah. I could go get the extra beefcakes. How many are we doing? Just one. You think we got it? I don't think it would be that bad. All right, well, let's go build a patio. Good. Oh, good, right there? Yeah. Okay. Shoo! All right, we got the dogs out here. We figured they'd have a good time hanging out. Hey, I came in here the other day, and there was a bag of corn, and a freaking squirrel was munching on it. Really? And he goes, ew, ew, and he was up there. I was like, man, if only I had the pew, he'd been toast. Yeah, he was, munch he was munching on the corn right here. Anyway, sorry, I just got distracted. There's like so, a whole tree in our way. Look at this thing. What's going on? Oh, cheese. Is that crundy? No, it's not. Oh. Look at this thing, though. Good night. Yeah, these guys, these little pavers. Them will do good. So um, what we're doing it for is for the animals so they can step on it so they'll naturally kind of file their hooves, their nails, you know, that type of deal. Like Carol and stuff needs her foot trimmed. Imagine trying to do that would be a little doozy. So what you do is you put like, a lot of people will just like pour like a concrete pad and then stick the water trough on it because the water trough's where they go. So like it's, it's an obvious deal. But we have all these concrete pavers from the pond that we built that we tore out. And there's, I mean, there actually there's probably like 20 or 30 of them. And what, we're just gonna load them in the back of this. We can, now that all the animals are up, we can take the mule inside and just build a nice little patio for them. And hopefully they like kind of scrape, scratch their nails and stuff. And that way also when it rains, they'll put like a dry place to go to. Like if yeah. they're not standing in the mud all the time, they've got a place oh, to Lucy, run around. So. Lucy, Lucy, she's in the Fine. Okay, anyways, let's get stacking. What do you think of the new patio, buddy? You're not pissed at us because we vaccinated you? Look at you. Well, it's a little higher up for you now. You don't have to stand up quite as tall. You guys should just jump in that sucker and take a little bubble bath. Right there, they got their little mud pit. That's gonna be their mud pit for the summer. We'll have to, I'm thinking maybe put like a splitter on there that has just a hose. You can turn it on and it'll kind of spray over there and make it nice and wet for these guys. But here's, this is what I had in mind when I said patio. This will help just, hopefully, this is all we really have. So we wanted to, but see like, he, he's liking it. He's not too mad about it. It'll, it'll help just kind of rough them up a little bit. We could always get some more and make it a lot bigger i mean and they should pack down but i definitely think it's gonna help it's gonna help with the goats it's gonna help with the everything all the hoof animal any animal with little hooves and stuff it's gonna help kind of file them down and that way they don't just sit in the mud all the time and whatnot but here's the story i know i, I hinted at it to title the thumbnail we have six baby rabbits here's what happened folks you guys saw myself and macy we went to the auction she picked out an animal she picked out a rabbit great no problem we bring the rabbit home three weeks later boom six babies pop out we are, didn't film any of it we found it on a day we weren't filming i was like okay i'll film it tomorrow and then it ended up raining we didn't film for a couple days i was like all right we'll keep an eye on them because like i didn't want to like go in there and i wanted to like wait to make the video until we could like pick them up and show you guys how cute they are and i didn't want to like piss the mom off you know and so a few days went by like okay it's getting close they're starting to open their eyes a little bit we can almost make this video and then all of a sudden i go down there and the mom's gone well, wait, wait where'd she go she dug out and i could show you it's over there actually yeah let's go over over there let's let's show the folks i'll i'll, I'll finish this story when we get, get over there so you can actually see what i'm talking about here all right so here's the rabbit hutch this is now this make more sense for you guys so i show up mom's gone and there's this hole right here look at this look at that little tunnel you see that tunnel she dug that out and you can see her she kicked her poop out like that so she left she was in there she left i'm like well, where the hell did she go? Did she get KO'd or what? So I'm like, all right, well, maybe she'll come back. I don't know why she would have left, right? She's got food, she has water, she's lived here for four months, four weeks, sorry. And so I Google it. I'm like, rabbit leaving nest. So supposedly it's not super uncommon. I would say more so probably in nature than these guys, you know, like pets, but at the end of the day, a rabbit's a rabbit. So what they do is they they don't live with their babies. It's so they don't attract predators, I guess, maybe because they're big, they're fluffy, they have a lot of scent. It's a lot harder for a coyote raccoon to find a little baby than it is to find a big giant rabbit. And so they leave but then they come back to like feed them like nurse you know and then they leave again so i'm like okay cool well let me set up a trail camera so i went over there and i set a trail camera up right there i point over there just to see if mom's coming back otherwise if she's not i gotta figure out how to raise these babies so then i'll snap check the camera and it's like boom mom's back i'm like okay problem was it's like you know two three in the morning and I'm like, well, what the heck's that stress? She's gonna die by a raccoon. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna set a trap out. See if I can trap her, like 
you know, put one by the tunnel and see if, uh, if she'll be able to, uh, get trapped and then I can like do whatever. So then I waited a day, just, I was like, okay, well, let me just make sure she's coming back again. So I didn't set the trap out, but that's, that was kind of my, my plan. So let me trap her and then, you know, fill the hole in and maybe she won't do it again. Obviously she can just dig out if she wants to, but you know, you might be thinking, well, just let her do her thing. The problem is she don't know about the coyotes, the raccoons, the bobcats, the possums, all the predators, including Lucy that would harm her. I was kind of trying to protect her. So anyways, the next day I get a trail camera photo of a raccoon. I'm like, oh, rip. But I didn't see the rabbit that night. Rip. I come down here. Lo and behold, we found the rabbit and she was KO'd. We saw a bunch of fur. We didn't see her. We saw a bunch of fur. The same night I saw the raccoon and we're like, freaking rip. She died. I knew it. And I knew she shouldn't have gotten out, but it happened. So then we're left with these little babies. And so we didn't touch the babies up until this point. So I don't want you thinking she left the nest because we touched them. We didn't touch them. That's why I didn't film the video. I didn't want to touch them and like piss her off and make her fl fly the coop or whatever. I don't know if rabbits do that or not, but I didn't touch them. We literally just checked on them, you know, put the food, put the water. You guys already know the drill, the grain. And so she got KO'd. Long story short, she's gonzo. And now we got six baby rabbits that we've been buying bottle feeding for a few days now and we have them they're up at the house and I'll show them to you the reason why I've waited this long to show you is because I wanted to make sure that they would make it I wanted to make sure that I could basically provide enough for them without their mom that they would survive because I didn't want to like make this video hype it all up and then unfortunately they get KO'd but they're, they're doing great they're alive and well and we do have to feed them this afternoon we, we feed them like four or five times a day and it's uh it's basically like raising children it's preparing me for fatherhood Macy and I have been basically raising these baby rabbits so we're gonna go up to the house we're gonna show you the rabbits Macy He's named a few of them. You guys can name the rest of them. We just had them in like this little clear box, but I went out today and bought like an actual cage for them. So we'll put them in the cage, kind of do that. And then I want to try to go quickly in the shop and design a automatic bottle holder system. Cause right now I'm just holding the bottle down there and you guys are going to watch and they're crazy. They go nuts so for it. And it's hard to feed six babies at one time. It's like having like triplets or something. And you know, you only got two and there's three of them type thing. I, I don't have six bottles or six hands to hold the bottle. So I'm going to try to build something today. Anyways, with that being said, let's go see the rabbits. We made it to the shop. We uh, before we show the rabbits, this is the new cage. Lucy, what you think, pal? You don't get to be friends with the rabbits because you'll try to bite them. This is their new cage. We're gonna try setting up a automatic bottle holder using this guy. I just realized how thick. It's kind of a thick piece of wood. We might need to find something thinner, like a sheet of plywood. I'm thinking because like you're gonna have to have like a two. Or either that or you have like a two stage. We're like wider and then it gets skinnier. Yeah. I know you know what I mean? Like a, it's like a one's wide and it gets skinnier. So then like, cause like if it sits right there the nipple's not long yeah. enough, you see? So you're gonna have to get it to sit down. Need a longer nipple. Uh, get that long titty action going or something. We can just rip a little sheet of plywood. Did you, did you say, Jake, you said there's a sheet of plywood out yeah. there? Banjo's on plywood duty. He's gonna, well, we're, we're brainstorming, yeah. I mean, I could do it. I just don't. Oh, look, the vessel's about, the seven eighth was about the right size. Okay. Um, yeah, something for like the big bottle. If I was to do the two stage, I don't even know if this would quite do it. I think a sheet, good, nice, son. Huh? I think this will be easier too, because we can slide it. There you go, Banjo's on plywood, plywood duty. Hold her there, son. Or you can, I mean, you can set her down. Beefcake construction. Here to save the freaking rabbits. Right there. Well, no, I need to go longer because I can run it out the sides. Yep. Mm. Yeah, we need to know the, that. You can grab a tape measure right there. Oh, you said we don't need one of those. Yeah, well, better just do this the right way. So we'll probably run it on the back, not that it matters. It needs to be about five and a quarter, five and a quarter, and then I'd probably run it at least three inches out, 36 inches long. So 36 inches long, get you to about right in there. So here's the length. And then we need the depth. So we need five and a half. What do you say, no longer than five and a half? Probably do like five-ish. Okay, and then slide it down to the other side. Get you one of them guys. And then run her from one end to the other. It's a professional's measure, I think. Straight enough. That looks pretty straight to me. Do you think they're gonna be able yeah. to push it out? Like if they're, you know, they hit it hard enough, do you think it's gonna come off? Might be able to. Do you to. need like a top or something? Or are you just gonna wing it, put your hand on it? Yeah, I see, what, I see what you're saying. I think they'll do more tugging than pull, uh, tugging than pushing. Oh, okay. Cause like, I don't think they're gonna be like, Ugh, you know? And since it's, it's gonna be more like a, ah. Since it's thinner, we can make the holes tighter. Yeah, where it wedges it'll it wedge it. Oh, yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, it's not so loose. Yeah, that's good. Let's get to cutting. This is a Beefcake Construction LLC bottle holder. Look at that. Yeah, I don't know what level on that. I got one, two, three, four above it. One, two, three, four. So, yeah. 
Look at that. She might be a little high for him. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just your test. I was just making fun of you. What'd you say? Was it seven eighths? Were you yeah. Thinking? That looked like okay, a, yeah, you're right, the tightest fit. Okay, so piece of wood's in there. That'll work. Okay. So I'd say, like, put them more in the middle because, like, if you're putting them all the way in the corner. I mean, it's yeah, you gotta just bad. spread them out, though. That's yeah, the I guess. thing. Yeah. So you, you should see how six. aggressive these suckers are. They'll bite your spread it out from there. Are you positive it's not too big? Because if you go too big, you're kind of screwed. You can put it up to the bottle, but that's what the best one I thought. It should stop. It won't be super tight though. If you want so you to just try with a smaller one first? Yeah. One size down. So get, this is what you're gonna want. That, the size of that. Uh, where do you have a three quarter? That, that looks titties to me. Yeah. Really? That's, that's a dad the joke. Guy. Do I get a pass? Cause that's a dad joke kinda, cause we're talking about nipples? Nah. Oh, okay. How was that titty fit? Too small. A little, little too? Little too, okay. So, you so I think the one you had was better. Or the, yeah, that last one you handed me. 13. So a three quarter would be a. I had a seven eighths. Yeah, you had seven eight. So this that's is a little bigger. Oh, that's a little bigger. Measurements like that mess me up. Why now? Oh god! Oh god! Yeah. <laughs> Not sure that did a ton. Mm, that didn't hold, do a whole lot. Oh. One more. You were right. Seven eight. Look at Zach. We should have just trusted the process. <laughs> I was doubting you, my friend. That's gonna do it. You know your Dang. titty sizes, son. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Look at that. Give it a little. Oh, dude. Give it a little suck. Oh god! You could get after from here. He's about to bite. <laughs> Yo, Whoa! It's gonna, it's, it's gonna work. Look at that. I don't approve of that. You see our invention? And then you just slip that guy you in there. You slide the board in and then you... Can you make him for a baby? Like a real baby? I probably could. <laughs> don't challenge me with a good time, yeah, all right? I, mean, I will bring be... Bring it up in the crib with little I will be the king of making things like this to make my life easier when, once we have this child. I'll be rigging up all sorts of ocean approved things just like this. You're gonna get CPS called on us. <laughs> Probably shouldn't post stuff like that. Anyways, so we got one. So we get one like right there. You get one right there, so that's three. And then four, five. I'd probably start further in because you're gonna have this hanging out on the edges. Oh, so you think like that guy? Yeah. So don't do that. Do one like right here. And then you're gonna do one right here. And then just one. But then you're gonna and move then this I, one. I can yep. move this one here. And then, yo, beauty. They all fit. Give them all. Oh, yeah. Give them all a check. Oh yeah, y'all, y'all. Sorry. Come on, guys. Stab you in the wiener. <laughs> Get out of my way. Yeah. Good. Yep. All right. Sure, they don't, we don't need no rabbit splinters now. Can't be having that on our watch. They're looking good. So slide this sucker in. We need to go as high as we possibly can without the bottle hitting the top. Because like they're they're like these little, they're tiny little. You know I don't want them like jumping gotcha. too too far. Yeah. But do you think it's gonna pop out? I mean, if it's full, I don't think so. I don't think so. If it's full, we'll see. And you'll have a bunch of bedding in there too, so it'll pick. It yeah, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking too. That guy, that's like we eventually got to get him on this little suck. I don't know if we could try sticking it in there. But they seem to be keyed, keyed on that soft nipple. Yeah. Know? This thing was made for rabbits. They got all sorts of good stuff in here. Some high fiber western cut Timothy hay. They got some advanced rabbit diet food and sort of drops for with wild berry. And they got a, they give them a toy. How are they going to play around? They're going to be excited. You like that? Sure. What if they ring the, what if you train them to ring the bell when they're hungry? When they want that titty? Well, that would be annoying. You just sprinkle that on the top, I guess. It's going to fall through, ain't it? Is that, that the, idea? Big a flake is that the idea? Is that the idea? Huh? Is that other stuff thicker? That's that's uh, food that's though. Feed. Hmm. Huh? I mean, I know rabbit cages. They just have them on mesh. I think that goes in for the poop. This? Yeah, yeah, this does. So yeah. that's fine then. But they just they just lay on this. I guess. I could give them some hay. Yeah, we got. I've got yeah, more. I've get got some just thicker like, stuff. I've so. got some big Timothy hay. We could lay like a thin layer mm -hmm. on. This is just for their dookies, I guess. All right, let's throw some of this fluff in there. I think that's just gonna get everywhere. Like this is gonna be. This is just a mess. I'm surprised there's not something like around the bottom to hold it all in. And? <laughs> well, you're gonna get fine shavings everywhere. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. Am I lost? I think she means like right here in this gap. But do you need, are you asking me to make it? What's the no, question? No, I'm just saying like, oh, I agree. why would they not? I agree, I agree, one? I agree with you. Okay. Is that the end of the conversation or are we still I going? So. Oh, okay. I was, con I was confused. I was just making it up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 10-4, yeah. 10-4. Ten four. Ten, ten four. All right. Well, so we get the rabbit. That is the rabbits, folks. Look at these guys. Gee. I like this guy. That's Carmelicious. Carmelicious. Yeah. Macy named that one Carmelicious. That makes sense. I don't, she, she'll have to go through all the names. I think this is, this is Gustavo. He's got a little mustache. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey, settle down, buddy. Hey, you guys need a bath. You're kind of sticky with all that milk on you. You kind of look like you've been raised by a crackhead. It's kind of true. Uh, this is Thumper. He's the chunkiest one of the bunch. Yeah. He he's so cute. He looks like a wild uh, one. I don't know what that guy's name is. 
Got to ask me. I think the non-mustached, like multicolored one, and then the all-white one we didn't have names for. So if you guys want to name this guy right here. Well, I think I, I named one of them Philip. I'll have to ask me. I don't know what these guys are. This, which one's this guy? Is this one named? I couldn't tell. Is that Gustavo? Uh, no, this one's not. He no, was... no. Hey, settle down. Macy's making your guys' milk, and we made, well, we got you a new house. Go keep there. These guys are so adorable. I'm telling you, like, I've got a, actually a picture. I'll pop a picture here. You couldn't see them very well, but they were like this big when I found them. We've been raising them like this for about a week and we should only have about a week left-ish. We've been trying to give them a little bit of grain, seeing if they'll get on that grain strat. And we've been giving, like, this is all Timothy hay so they can actually eat all of this. So we threw some in here. I don't know if they'll munch on it or not. Let's go ahead and get all these guys moved over and see if they won't drink some milk. Here you go, buddy. Oh, you got your new house, pal. It's the up, you upgraded, you upsized. You went from a one story to a, well, kind of a one story still, but he's bigger. You're all right, there you go, pal. No, you gotta stay. No, we ain't got no milk. Come here, pal. We're going over here. Yep, we're moving, we're moving. You're gonna have to help me with the names. What's what's the black one called? Black bean. Oh, that's black bean. And then, do we name the white one? Mm, I started calling him Mopsy the other day. Who? From Peter Rabbit. I've never seen that before. No. What's the, what's, so there's Gustavo has the mustache and his brother. Which one's Philip? It's Philip. Gotcha. So it's just the white one we're not sure of? Yeah. Okay, so you got this guy right here. You drop a comment down below. What? I just said I started calling him Mopsy. Well, we're we're not changing, calling no one's that. calling him Mopsy. If, you, if our, if our child comes out named Mopsy, we're gonna have problems, okay? Okay. We've changed that real quick. Anyways, you guys can name this guy. All right, let's put this guy back. What was this, this one? Is, this is Thumper. Oh, that's, that's my favorite. Dude, he's sure. such a big chunky boy and he eats so much, dude. Like he'll smoke a whole bottle by himself. He's he's big chungus. All right, let's shut this real quick. Let's get that down. And you've got them all mixed up? Yep. Look at this, assembly line. So that's like a quarter bottle, but we do this like four or five times a day, so. Oh, no, no, Thumpy, get your big ass back. All right, here we go, flip it. Okay, it's not. It's leaking a little. Maybe just start with like two so that they can see where they're going. So I was just gonna... I was gonna say, it's not really leaking after the initial No, no, flip. get your... See, you'll find that nipple, son. See, that's about the right height. Sometimes... You just gotta get them on that. Do they see it? See if it was higher, they may be able to see it. Oh, just sniffing around. Could you squeeze one of them? Yeah, the milk will just go everywhere. They'll find, they'll find it, they'll find it. See, they're not looking up. Hey, you get your freaking. Yeah, I feel like it was like this, he would find it, you know? Yeah. They can see it more. Yeah. It's I good. can, I could make a way to tilt it. You would just cut it, cut a notch and then just raise it up and then put a screw below it and you could do it. Oh. <laughs> Hello, friend. Hey, how about this? You want some right here? You want a little bit? Hey, that's your nipple. Oh. Oh. You see? Black. Hey, Black Bean, get back, son. Okay, you see this? You see? Oh, see, now they're fighting. See, this is why we built this Maybe. contraption. You guys just go in there. No, oh, don't. They're used to following my hands. Yeah. Oh, 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 he's thinking about it. He's that one's gonna it. find it. Yeah. Come on, son. You guys got it. Imagine once it's like dialed and they all just go off nope. on it. Oh, Thumpy, Thumpy's big oh, boy. Black Bean. Big boy's gonna get it. Oh, he was so darn close. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's hitting that bell. Look at him ring that bell. Here's an idea. Hey, I'm over here. I got the milk. See, I got the bottle. Oh, oh, look at here. Look at here. No, oh, Carmelicious. Oh, Carmelicious is on, son. See, it needs to be, I think it needs to be raised a little bit. They're gonna knock that bottle out. Right. Oh, look at him getting it. See, you were right. who's right? Thank you. That's you right. Right. I don't happen off. I'm chuck that one up. Look at him. He's getting it. Thumpy, don't eat the fluff. No, he's just munching the fluff. Yeah. You think raise it up one? Yeah, I thought so. Because he's kind of stri- like they're kind of having to- Yeah. I mean, maybe not. Oh, oh Carmelicious, he's gonna smoke it. He's gonna smoke it. Oh, he got it. Good job, buddy. Oh, oh Thumpy's- Get it, Thump. Come on, bud. Oh, you got it. They yeah. figured that out pretty quick. Yeah, look at- They're getting it. Come on over here. Black Bean. Hey. What are you eating? I put a little on it. Oh. I was trying to... Black bean's not Okay, we got spot. we got three of them going. These guys are eating this fluff though, which is honestly good because they're eating something other than milk. Come on. Come on, Black Bean. Up top. Up top, my guy. Dude, look at isn't that this the cutest thing? It's look like at the whole them. assembly. Look line. at them lined up. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna get it figured out. Oh, oh Gustavo, Gustavo! You're so close, Gustavo. Gustavo, look up to the north. To the northwest, Gustavo. Oh, come on, you're so close. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh he got it. He got it. Oh yeah. Oh, I Thumpy's stood up getting that one. Found it. Dude, this guy's been on it the whole time. He ain't he ain't let off that titty yet, son. Oh yeah, they're all he's, figuring it out now. Yep. Black bean, black bean. One more, buddy. Oh yeah, he's that guy's straight chug a lugging right now. Look this at is him. about as entertaining as dude, him feeding the mini ponds. Dude, this is so cute. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Sometimes they'll get like milk all over their mouth and then one will come and like they lick it off. Oh, yeah. he's getting, he's getting oh it. yeah, there you go. Oh we got so we got four of them going. Carmelicious and Thumpy. They've all gotten it though. Come on, buddy. No, don't. Hey, Carmelicious, get off. Hey, get off Gustavo. 
Hey, there's oh, there's your ego, Thumpy. Two, Thumpy, Thumpy, down here, pal. Thumpy, come here, buddy. Dude, look how cute this look is, bro. This is so much easier. Like, Macy and I, for the last week, have spent... It probably takes us at least 10 minutes of feeding. If at it's least. just one of us, I yeah. mean, it takes me 20, 25 minutes. Yeah. Like, like three, four times a day, folks. This is straight up. And they just... And then now you can control how much they're drinking. Like This one's about empty. He's just getting it. Thumpy, go over there, pal. Come malicious. Hey, how about you scoot? Oh, there you go. Oh, I want to see all of them get after it. We should have made like little dividers that only like one could enter. <laughs> yeah. Seriously though. Oh, we got five. Oh, come on. Car no, grab, yeah, get Carmelicious on that. We got to oh, get all of them. That one's done. Oh, Gustavo said I'm out, buddy. Right here. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, Gustavo, now go get on him. We need all of them. Oh, Thumpy's leaving. That's all right. They're still, they're, they all, they all got milk. They, they've all gotten a little bit. Look at this one. Dude, he's chugging, son. Carmelicious? No, this, oh. this one. Dude, look at him. He's so bottle. cute. He's just tearing it up. I think the height's fine. Yeah. We may need to bump it up in like a couple days once they get a little bigger, but these, these things grow so fast. It's crazy. Yeah, I just they're don't want so them to have cute. to like. Get way up. Because mm -hmm. right now they're like, doing one of these things. So yeah, we could always try moving it for the next round. Because we'll have to pull all the bottles and then it'll be easier to move it. Dude, this is. This is straight up efficiency right here. In the morning, afternoon, yeah. evening, before bed, <laughs> mix up build. all the bottles, throw them in. The question is, do we keep these suckers? Do we take them to the auction, give them away, sell them? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like you gotta keep at least one, but I don't they're, know about they're six. They're so cute though. We haven't figured out like if they're male or female. No, that's true. You might have to start separating them once they yeah. get, get their shenanigans figured out, I guess. But Have you heard this ASMR action? Get a little tight in there, we'll be quiet. I know you guys probably didn't think you needed rabbit ASMR in your life, but you did. That's, that is the sound I've been hearing for the last week. They just... See, that's, a, that's what I do when I eat, when I'm trying to like, taste of this food, and you know, I'm like... Yeah. Hey, so they... Their tongues are we're so on the same. Cute. We're on the same strat here. Well, you guys are gonna have to name the one, just, he's just all white, has no other markings on him. It's the only one we haven't really come up with a good name for, so you guys will have to let us know what you think. But a rabbit con contraption, I would say works. Lucy, these are our friends. No, Lucy, they're our friends. Lucy, they're our friends, buddy. They, they, they don't, they don't like you though. No, don't lick it. She's licking her paws right now. Oh hey, you be nice. No, you be nice. Well, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the dogs back, take them out to the grass and see if they'll start munching on some grass. We're trying to kind of get them weaned off now that they've drinking pretty much all the milk. We're gonna go try to get them on some actual fresh, like grass outside, see what they do. You guys stay tuned. Come on, friends. We're going to the grass, baby. You're free. Come enjoy some sunshine, pal. Both Dude, they are so cute. Dude, they're adorable. Look at them. Come on, bud. Come get some grass. Is that ramp a little sketchy for you? Your your legs are gonna fall through, aren't they? Any little piece of wood or something? You mean to help you? Hey, come here. Oh God, they're all coming. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. No, don't go back. He's, there's no milk, Thumpy. We're out of milk. Oh, they are eating the grass. Look at them. Little, little black bean, he's munching. Oh, so it's like they don't like that. They don't eat that Timothy hay though. Hmm. I've never really seen them eat it that good. Maybe they just need to be pasture rabbits. Is that a thing? I don't know. Wild rabbits. That's pretty darn cute. It's crazy, like the colors, like yeah, they're so different. Like this one, I'd say this one probably looks the most like the mom. Yeah, had kind of like multicolor, a couple spots, but like don't know what the dad looked like. I'm not sure. I mean, it's hard got, to tell with all the variations. All, all black, and then you got little Thumpy, who kind of looks like a wild rabbit. Yeah, he's a wild one. And then little Carmelicious. These guys are, th dude, Thumpy's the cutest. Look at him. See you guys later. I'm looking for that milk, son. Where'd that milk go, baby? He's always on milk duty. Come here, Thumpy. Buddy. We gotta give them a little bass. They're all covered in milk. You think rabbits can swim? Uh, what if we got them a little kiddie pool? Not. I mean, you can give them like a like a little baptism or something kind of thing. It's just a little wall. I think Millie's gonna break the window in there. I gave them winkies. They didn't care. Pepper. <laughs> Dude, if Lucy came out here and Millie came out, these things would be gone so Third fast. Third murder scene. They would get eaten so fast. Look at them. Dude, Dumpy's a beast. Look at him just run. He's definitely like the head honcho. He's always chugging milk and just doing thumpy things. They, they like this grass though. Too. It's interesting because they don't, they didn't really touch the Timothy hay all that much. So we might, like the more I can get them to eat this grass, the less milk we're gonna have to feed them and you kind of like wean them off of it. And then at that point, they're just on gray and hay duty like our other ones, which would be, which would be ideal. I think we're probably like a week, about a week out and we'd be. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> week.
maybe Last two year. weeks before they're fully. I, I would say in a week they're going to be 50 50, and in two weeks they'll be 100% weaned. I was reading they, the mom ditches them at like two to three weeks. These were born on how many weeks ago? Mother's Day. Yeah, but how many weeks ago? Two. It's been two weeks. Two and a half. It's Is been this? two and a half? Yeah, it was a Sunday. That's crazy. Why are you suckers still on the milk? Your mom would have ditched you by now. Because we've had them up here for a week and a half. Yeah, we've had them for about a week, week and a half now. Yeah, I guess they're, they're older than I thought. Like I said, dude, they came out, they were like the size of the, oh, they their tiny. head. They were like this big. I didn't. I honestly didn't think they were going to make it. We're feeding them like kitten milk. That's all we could really find in like research. Lady at Tractor Supply didn't think they were going to make it. The, yeah, the lady at Tractor Supply is like, oh, because she's like, oh, what are you buying this all for? Like rabbit. She's like, rip. Oh, that gave us hope. But hey, they're, they're big chilling. We made it. We didn't kill them. We saved these little suckers. Their poor mom got KO'd by Ricky. Now they're getting raised by some beefcakes. It's going to be hard to sell sell these suckers. Definitely not taking them to the auction because people eat rabbits there. That would break my heart if somebody threw Thumper in the skillet, you know. Probably tastes good. He'd probably taste fire. Grass fed. Oh, true. Organic. Yeah. Well, there you have it. Here's our six rabbits. Go ahead and name this guy right here. He's the only guy without a confirm. Hey, listen. Oh, I just almost, I almost killed him. I almost, listen, this is the only one you guys got to name. So comment down below what you guys want to name this guy. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Surprise. We got baby rabbits. It's a surprise for us. And, uh, but they're, they're doing good. If you guys have any rabbit raising tips, if you're like, hey, don't give them that because they're going to die, feel free. Oh, Drop grass. it in the comment section down below and let us know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you on the next one and peace.